Hey guys, how's it going? So, I know that I said that I wasn't going to make a Let's Play because I don't have a game capture card, but I thought that I would just like make this little vlog to kind of give you guys a little rundown of like my first day on the island and things like that. So, yeah, first of all, I just started and I'm trying to pick a map and I'm struggling. So, yeah. Basically, I just wanted to share in the struggle with you guys, so hold on, let me flip my camera around so you guys can see my options. Okay, so here we are. Four options, all great. Um, so yeah, I'm struggling because I don't know which one to pick. Okay, so the first one in the corner here where my cursor is, immediately I was kind of like, you know what, that's kind of nice, I'll go for that one. Um, but then I was like looking at the other ones and I was like, this one, the second one over here, I was like... That could be nice, like the little like nook tent is central to everything, um, and like it, it could be fun, but then I was like, mm. but in the start, all the houses and stuff are in that one portion of the island because you haven't unlocked the other parts, so it'll be a bit crowded, and I know that that's only for like the first few days, but at the same time, I'm like, mm, I don't know, could still be iffy. Then this bottom one. Now, I'm actually leaning towards this one quite a lot, just because I think that the land is more evenly dispersed between all of the areas, but also, like, I like the little lake in the middle, that, like, little separate island piece. I don't know. Mm, strong contender. And then this one over here, I like this one because the bottom part where Nook Services is, is, like, you can have, like, nice little houses in this area and in this area, and then, obviously, all the other areas to explore as well. One thing that bothers me about this one is like this little scraggly bit right here. Like, <laughs> I don't know why, but like this just bothers me. So I feel like this one's ruled out already. Um, but yeah. This is a struggle and I knew it was going to be. Like, see whenever I was going with my New Leaf Town, it took me forever to decide on one. And I ended up just picking the first one because I couldn't decide. Um, but yeah. Um, you know what? I think I gotta choose this one. I feel like I talked myself into it while I was talking to you guys about it. So, yeah. This is it, guys. This is the one. Ah! Wow, I literally just cried watching the little intro video, even though I've seen that intro video, like, a bunch of times. But here I am crying just because, like, I'm so happy and so excited about this game. <gasps> Ooh! Oh my god, here we are, we're like flying over. This is what I wanted to capture, I wanted to capture my reaction. I think I have oranges? <gasps> oh, this is so cute. Oh my god, I've never had oranges as a starter for it. I literally feel like I always have. <gasps> oh, okay, so my starter villagers are Canberra, who, mm, she's not the prettiest of villagers, but she's okay, not a big fan. And also my second starter villager is Snake, and he's pretty cool, so that's cool. Um, but yeah, anyway, I just wanted to capture my reaction to see what my starter fruit was. Um, and yeah, and if you're wondering, my airport is green. Um, but yeah, we're gonna head back into the game and get settled in. I'm so excited, guys. So excited. And like I said, I was crying at the intro thing, but that's just because, like, I just can't believe I'm actually playing. Because, like, I've seen that, like, little intro video a bunch of times. Like, because I was watching people play it yesterday. And even earlier today, I was watching my brother play it. So I've seen it a bunch of times. But this time, it really hit me. It was like, oh my god, I'm actually playing, though. This is my game. And, like, I'm going to cry again. Oh my god. But I'm just so excited. <laughs> so I just figured out where I want everyone to live. So I thought that I would give you guys a little quick view. So over here is my house. I feel like it was kind of basic to put it on this little part of the beach, but I really like it here. I find it really calming. Watch me take all the artsy photos over here. This is great. Um, so this is my tent. And then if we go down here by the beach, this is Snake's tent. Um, I actually really like it over here as well. So if I didn't put my house where it is, I feel like this would be like a nice little spot by the beach um, and then we gotta find Canberra's see I almost put Canberra's closer to the river because I feel like that's nice but I feel like lots of people put their houses like really close to the river so this is where Canberra's is I mean it's still near the river like the river's like up here but like you know I think it's kind of nice to have like houses in like the middle of 
your island <laughs> instead of like so around the edges because like so far you know my house is out by the beach and so is snakes like you can see it in the bottom corner in the map like they're there but um you know I think it's nice that like to have houses out and about like in the middle land of your island I suppose right now it's kind of hard to visualize it but I know eventually you know we'll uh get used to having houses all around um and yeah so right now I gotta gather some wood for Tom Nook and then we're gonna have a bonfire and then we're gonna get this party started well guys here we are officially on that island life it's hard to believe that we're finally here I felt like we would never get here um but yeah here we are I'm not really sure what the first thing I'm gonna do is but it's probably not gonna lie gonna be picking up all the weeds because I'm not one who likes to have weeds in their town even though the weeds in this game look kind of nice but like it's me so I feel like those are gonna have to go um but yeah I'm just excited to see where this takes us and I'm also excited to bring you guys along on the journey and update you as things go on Two hours later. I've only cleaned like one tiny patch of my island and I've already collected 60 weeds. Oh my gosh, guys. I can't even imagine how many weeds we're going to end up with when we finally clean up the entire island. Um, I actually kind of wonder what the grow rate is of the weeds. Like, do they grow back kind of quickly or does it take a while? I don't really know because like obviously weeds are resources and I don't want to collect all of them and then sell them all or whatever and then like later down the line need them to craft something and then like have no weeds anywhere. Hmm. I don't really know but um I guess we see. I mean I think uh it'll be a while before I clean up all the weeds in the entire island but um yeah just like an interesting thought. Our first message on the bulletin board, we have finally arrived and I can't tell you how long it took me to actually draw this heart. I took my switch out of the dock to draw it and yeah, it is what it is. I'm still happy with it. Um, and so yeah, we've officially made our mark. We are here on the island to stay. So we've done a little bit of fishing, a little bit of bug catching, and it looks like we have a full inventory already. Um, so something interesting about this is that the shells are stackable, so here we have two coral, but fish and other things like that are not, and then obviously our little resources up here are also um, stackable, so yeah, that's cool. Um, now the challenge is what do I do with all these fish and stuff while I wait for the museum to be built. Um, I know that in the beginning we donate some to Nook and then after that Blathers does come and then we can like get the museum on the road but um, I guess these guys are just going to have to like chill outside or something for a while because I'm the kind of person that likes to donate stuff to the museum as soon as possible so yeah we're going to have to find a little place for these guys um but yeah in the meantime we're gonna keep going see what we can do I know that it's our first night on the island so we can't do much but you know I'm still getting used to it still exploring still enjoying the island life honestly guys this game is so peaceful and I could honestly play it for the rest of my life and I'm probably going to but like yeah just wanted to take a minute and enjoy it we got an axe, it's time to hit up some trees for some wood. And also, I've just like, <laughs> set all of my little like, creatures that I've caught over here because Blathers is gonna come tomorrow or as soon as I figure out a place to put his tent. And then we also have some flowers planted down here. Um, so yeah, you know what? Things are coming along well and I'm excited. Um, literally, I think what I'm gonna do tonight is uh, just try and craft as many things as possible uh, just cause like I don't really have anything else to do and oh I actually want to check out my airport although I feel like we can't fly anywhere on the first day uh, but there's no harm in going in and like checking the place out okay so I moved my phone up a bit higher so you guys can see better 
Um, but this is our airport. Looks the same as everyone else's airport for sure. Um, but let's go like talk to our dude over here. Hmm. How'd you get in here? Could have swore I locked the front door. Ah, yeah. No flights today. Okay. So, can't connect with any of my friends tonight, but that's okay. We will definitely head out tomorrow, and then over here, message cards coming soon. So again, we can't buy any paper to send any more messages. Um, but yeah, that's fair. I mean, I guess things would be a little bit too easy if you could fly on the first day and go to your friend's house and get like all the stuff on the first day. Um, if you're like me, that would have been handy because we started a day after everyone else. So everyone else has already unlocked some cool stuff, but I have not. Um, but yeah, we'll just wait. Just going to continue gathering all my supplies and things to build cool stuff. Ew, a centipede. Oh my goodness. <gasps> and the money rock. Oh my god. I'm hitting the jackpot today, guys. Ah! There you go. Got him. Ooh. Let's go back here and see how much money I actually get. Oh, okay. Right. Damn it! I shouldn't have went for the centipede. I shouldn't have went for the bells instead. <gasps> that was kind of cool. Oh my gosh, did you guys see that? When I like picked up the bells, it automatically went into my little purse. Oh my god, that's amazing. I love that. Okay, well. Money tree was a bust, but that's okay. I'll be more on the lookout and more aware next time. <laughs> Alright then. Um, the axes really don't last that long at all, but that's fun. Okay. And we got stung by wasps. I was trying to run away, but I was pressing the wrong button, so I was just picking up some weeds, and so yeah. Kind of inevitable when you're shaking trees because you're trying to get some tree branches. Um, but yeah, fun times. Okay guys, so I think I'm going to wrap up my first night on the island here. I feel like I've pretty much exhausted everything that I can do on the first day. I got a bunch of Nook Miles. I did pay off my travel fees and things like that. So hopefully tomorrow we'll be waking up with a brand new house. Um, I also redeemed some stuff through the Nook Mileage program and also crafted a bunch of items. I feel like this is something I should mention and it's kind of random, but I am going to be one of those people that crafts every single item that I can. Um, I might not necessarily use every item on my island, but if I can craft an item, I will probably do it. And then if I'm not going to use it, sell it. And the reason being is just for like completion purposes. Um, I don't know if everyone else does that, but I feel like, you know, in Animal Crossing, you're going to get all these recipes and, um, you know, it's like you might as well craft them if you have them, you know, so that's what's going on. Uh, other things, I also got my tool ring. So basically when I used the Nook Mileage program, I got the little ring, which means it's like a lot easier to switch between your tools and things like that. Um, and yeah, so those are the things that I did on my island. I still need to pick a spot for Blathers Museum Tent. I have not done that yet. And the reason being is because like, Right now, in the little section of the island that I have, I don't really like anywhere for the museum to be. So I think I'm going to wait until I get my pole vault and then I can put the museum somewhere else on the island. Though I don't know if, because I haven't placed the tent yet, if it'll like stop Blathers from coming. So like Blathers might not appear until I've actually set down his tent. Um... Which I guess is fine. I think it just means that I'll have to wait a little bit longer to get a museum. But I would rather that than, you know, just stick to museum anywhere. And then, you know, eventually down the line when I can move buildings, move it that way. So I think it's best just to wait and then have a look around and see where else I can put my museum. Um, but yeah, uh, that is the end of my first island vlog. Um, I didn't really plan on doing this because I would have rather waited until I got a game capture card to show you guys things, but at the same time I was struggling to choose an island map and so I was like, you know what, I'm gonna vlog anyway. Um, 
So yeah, I know that the footage of the gameplay was not great just because I'm filming on my phone and I was just like trying to prop it up next to me the best I could and so none of the TV angles are consistent or anything like that but yeah, I just thought I'd share that with you guys. Um, I, like I said, I'm like super excited about the game. I've cried about it. I've like been so hyped about it and to actually play it's been amazing and now I can't wait to play it every single day for the rest of my life or until I bring out any Animal Crossing game or whatever. Um, and so yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I don't know if I'm going to do any more of these kind of vlogs like this just because it bothers me that I don't have like a proper setup so like you know when I prop my phone up on things and stuff like I don't have a tripod or anything so it's always going to be wonky it's always going to be a little bit off um and that's not the best way to record things anyway um so yeah I don't know if I'm gonna just like wait until I get a game capture card or anything like that or what but I'm sure that I'll like maybe keep you guys updated every so often with videos and stuff like that um if you guys are interested obviously I mean I clearly want to make a bunch of Animal Crossing content just because I love it so much and want to share it with people but yeah you guys might not be interested in this becoming an Animal Crossing channel um but yeah anyway I'm gonna go stop rambling I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more and let me know in the comments below some information about your island like what's it called what's your native fruit who your starter villagers were and yeah uh I guess that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.